<laughs> Welcome back everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the car on the dyno. Um, car, car made great power. Uh, made 905, not fully maxed out. We don't quite know where this turbo is going to end up. Um, we're thinking more 29, 30 pound range. So we get four or five more pounds out of it. Hopefully it put us in like the 1050, 1080 horsepower, totally turned up, maxed out on the turbo. But we don't know. Like you saw, we were, we were having problems with the dyno. We're eating 3,200 foot pounds of torque. And it's ain't a pro mod, so we know that's not right. But uh, I said there was a dyno day for the Fox Body Club coming up. So we're going to strap on the drag radios because it's a roller dyno. Hopefully keep traction. And um, you get two poles. And the first pole, we're going to put it right back on the 18 pounds on the gate. And see how it compares to that dyno. Obviously, the weather is going to be way different. I'm hoping it's not 95 degrees, but we're going to find out. And then what we're going to do is since we get one more pull, probably put like freaking 10 pounds on the gate and see what it does. Cause I could, I see the boost as we put five pounds and put five pounds, the boost is starting to, you know, taper off as the back pressure and the turbo starting to come up. It's not a huge turbo. It's only an 80 millimeter. So, it, I mean, it's got a 132 back housing on it, 80. 92, I don't even remember what back wheels in the freaking thing. The biggest one you can get for that turbo. 89, 92 millimeter, no, whatever it is. Anyway, so you can already see it. Like you'll make like, you know, when we went from five to 10 to 15, it was all picking up three pounds of boost. And then we went from 15 to 18 and it picked up a pound. And then, and that's where we stopped or two pounds, it, it was like two and a half pounds. I, I'm sorry, it was like two and a half pounds. It just crept off just a little bit. So I have a feeling we're starting to work up into its higher end of its efficiency. Oh, that's just an update for you guys. We are going to the track in, not this weekend, next, oh shit, next weekend. I better get my crap together. We're going for license passes on the 12th. So I gotta get, I gotta get rocking and rolling. I didn't even realize it was already next week. Um, and then after that is the dyno day. And then hopefully I have all my license passes complete next weekend. If not, then we'll go back and do more license passes. And then we'll uh, hopefully get some more passes under it. And I start to feel comfortable in the car. I know the car is capable of bottom eights. I'm not the one capable of bottom eight yet. Even though I, you know, I drive this car like a madman on the street and, you know, do hundred mile an hour burnouts with the thing and all that. It's when that thing plants and pins you into the seat and it's actually revving out into every gear. I, I, I'm just not comfortable in the car yet. I've made five passes on low boost. So I need to get some passes under my belt and, and get this thing going. But the main goal, everything we're doing right now, is for Hot Rod Drag Week 2021. All, I mean, don't get me wrong, the racing I was going to do regardless of going to Drag Week, but now it's all sped up because Drag Week is the second week of September. I need to have my license. The car needs to go fast. I'm not going to get in a uh, small, super street, small block power outer and run 980s. So, I mean, even at 850s. Sorry about that. The wife opened the garage door and I never, um, never even heard them walk downstairs. So it kind of threw me for a loop in the garage door. But yeah, so 850s, it still isn't even competitive really in that class. But it's the only class I fit in. We've talked about this. Anyway, enough of my ramblings about nonsense. What I need to get done is I need to get this thing set up to pull a trailer. Um, so where we started is I built a trailer last year in haste because I was going to do drag week and it was 
July, August, in that area. So I just whipped together a trailer really quickly. Uh, it's a Harbor Freight one. I did a whole video. I recorded a ton of stuff on this. But we're t we tore it all apart. I was not very happy with it. I did it all out of wood. It was heavy. It was ugly. I wasn't happy with the design of it. Um, like I said, I just literally grabbed the wood from Home Depot and slammed this thing together with no, no plans. Um, I'm going to put some pictures in. I think I have pictures of it. I think there's pictures and videos. If not, I'll take some stills from videos. Um, the one thing I might link in is the wiring of it. I wired it all myself. So it's way nicer than a kit you're going to buy. I might link that in. It might get confusing, so I apologize. But I might link that in. So this is what we're left with right now. It's a Harbor Freight 4x8 trailer. I lost my flip-flop. That has been cut down to a 4x4. Four four. In hindsight, I wish I left it as like a 4x5 or 4x6. Hot rods rules, I think it could only be a 4x8 with a certain height. There's a cubic footage thing you could only do. So, I've talked to people who have done it and everyone's train of thought for people that have experience in doing it is the less trailer you have, the more critical you will become on what you bring. The bigger you trailer have, you're just going to bring everything in the kitchen sink. Uh, I obviously don't want that. I don't want 2,000 pounds rolling down the road. So this is a 4x4. Four four. I don't even know if there's anything in here. All right, all the things are hanging out already. So, yeah, this is a 4x4. Four what I have done, so I moved the whole leaf forward, welded it, that was a pain in the butt. What I did was I flipped the axle, so this thing is much lower to the ground. And what I'm thinking is, I don't know if I have a tape measure. Hold on. Oh. What I'm thinking is 48 inches height, which actually now that I'm looking at this, might be a little tall. I think I want to do 48 inches total from the bottom of the frame rail. I think that's what it was originally. 48 inches from the bottom of the frame rail. Frame rail is three, so 40, 45. And that's a, that plywood won't be there because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, build, I'm gonna take that off and build the frame and, and set it. So we'll say 45 inches. Here's your height. That's what I'm planning on doing. 45 inches all the way around, back door. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna V this for more aerodynamics. Oh, I'm gonna come out to like, like somewhere right about here. The front of the V will be. And uh, it'll give me more room all at the same time. This time I drew up some plans As you can see, all right, so I'm thinking about putting a side door in just to make it easier. I don't know. I mean, we, we'll, we'll get to that, but I'm gonna do a back door, obviously. And uh, I'm gonna try to go pick up, I'm gonna do it out of three quarter square aluminum. I weighed out the differences between the steel and the aluminum, and it's pretty significant. This is a three-quarter steel tube, square tube, and, um, you know, I can TIG weld. <laughs> so I can, the only thing that sucks about that is I can't use a magnetic square to hold it all together while I do it, which makes me still want to do it out of steel. But, you know... 
it's just a lot of weight because I'm going to literally use like, I think I mathed it out. I don't know if I wrote it down. Might be like 80 feet of this. Um, so it's kind of, kind of heavy. 80 feet of that plus the aluminum siding, the sheet metal siding. Which isn't very thick, but it's, it's still weight. Now, we're going to start building that soon. I want to see, I'm going to buy different fenders and I want to see if I can get bigger tires to help with the, uh, the speed. We'll see. I got all brand new. I'll show you guys. I got all brand new uh, Harbor Freight LED stop lights on the back of it, brake lights. Uh, it's all, yeah, these work, everything works. And a four pin plug. So uh, we're gonna start to work on that. This was for a cooler. I made this quick frame to hold a cooler, but now I want the extra space. This is a toolbox I picked up for it. It's kind of heavy. I might change this, I don't know. But I want to fit a toolbox, four jugs of fuel, my my race tires. Um, I got two bins like this. I'll show you. I need to fit. It's all my racing gear. Um, it's a light for it. I need to fit this. This is a spare front tire. Uh, jack stands. I need to fit a small jack fender flare. I don't know what's in this one. Oh, this one's a lot of spare parts. So this is like what I've been starting to collect for drag week. You know, spare LS9 head gaskets, spare drive belt, scotch brights, shop towels, Honda Bond. I love my Honda Bond. Um, a couple oil filters, spare alternator. Uh, you know, I got glass cleaner, brake cleaner, brake fluid, uh, silicone, copper spray, PB blaster, gloves, clamps, you know, oil, valve springs, rockers, trash bags. Yeah, I even picked up a local guy was selling, uh, oh, I got it. Yeah, tight, uh, Six, six, BTR 660 springs, titanium retainers, extra set of 740 push rods, stock rockers in there. I didn't spend money. I mean, I have stock rockers with trunnions in mine, so it's not like it's a big thing. So this whole box needs to come with me. Plus some more. Like, I have a... I've gone a little off the deep end with this, with this. and then, so yeah, that's got to come, that's got to come, that's my new, my new Sparkle shoes, that's all, you see, that's got to go in the car, oh, I'll show you guys the beadlocks all put together, whoosh, look at bad Larry's, those are going to get some probably pros or PBRs, I don't know. But what I've been doing is so I can keep track of everything, I got a Google Docs here of everything I want, need, on hand, and brand. And here's a good taste of what I've talked to a lot of veterans. Oh, hold on. That's pretty much everything we've thought of. Um, and then I have my... Oh, Google. Oh, my to-do list. So, you know, I build trailer, get new tires, spare tire mount, paint. Build a trailer hitch, yeah. I gotta build a trailer hitch. Well, I got that. And then I have all my other stuff in my big trailer. So what I'll do is I've been trying to just get this outfitted and solely work on the car from this because this is what's going to be going to the track and all the tools in this will move into that gray one for drag week and stuff in here like chargers and flashlights and 
you know, I got my suspension tune book, a couple sets of spark plugs, thread locker, uh, spark plug gapping tool and everything. You know, st stupid stuff. Epoxies and po power probe you can't go wrong with. You know, heat shrink, a whole wiring kit, a whole kit of O-rings. Just all crap you might need. This is going to go on drag week. This is almost all drag week stuff, but I'm just keeping it in here because same thing. Now, spark plug wires. This is something I'm kind of proud of that I'm in the middle of building. That's right here. It could be a lifesaver. Not done because it's kind of expensive, but it's a spare sensor box. So I bought all brand new sensors and I leave their part number in there, God forbid. You know, so I got a cam sensor, um, coolant temp sensor, TPS sensor, crank sensor, spare map sensor with the plug on it. I have a spare pressure transducer on the way. A spare cap for my strange brakes because I've lost one. I need to get a wide band, transmission temp, and a uh, the transmission temp, and uh, a couple more pressure transducers. And um, yeah, that box is for drag week. That's for drag week. Oil I don't even use anymore. All for drag week. Um, tire gauge. This goes in that kit too. I just, but you know, I can use it for the track. It comes to the track just in case. Well, anyway, enough about enough about that. What I'll do is I'll make a video as the trailer's done and as I got everything, 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 everything. As I got everything, I will go over everything that I'll be bringing on Drag Week. Um, the upside to the location of it this year is I have an odd amount of friends on social media who are from this area, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. It, it's a very weird demograph that I have. Like the majority of my friends are from that area. I bought, I bought this car from Dean who lives out in uh, Indy. This is where this car came from after he bought it from a lady from Florida. But we've been working on it. I just got my Kurt. Now they, they well, I got my flashlight. They fucked me up, but I fixed it. My Kurt uh, taillight converter in here. Oh, and look at that, it's already pulled off. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some better double sticky tape, apparently, because the crap that came with it hasn't held. Now, so I just wired this in because the brake light and the turn signal is all uh you know well, they actually put the sticker on backwards i had to flip the sticker <laughs> well that's all wired in there's the plug i haven't ran it outside the car because i don't quite know where i'm going to run it yet i think i i have this hole here from the old rear mount radiator hose which i've been meaning to weld shut so i might just run it out there and put a grommet on it but that's done. I hooked that up the other night, or last night, and uh, checked all my lights on this, and they all freaking work. Pretty amped. So my next step is build a hitch for that, build this, and um, start towing it. I want to have this done within the next month, because I go up to New Hampshire every July 4th, and I want to bring this rig with me because that'll be a good test it's about a three hour drive and i'll have my wife um drive my truck and we'll see how it does you know i i'm gonna drive what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna leave this thing hooked to it and drive it to work that's 30 miles each way and see how the car does you know if the car starts to get hot i got i gotta figure it out it's gotta get fixed one thing also i'm doing which i haven't seen what i've seen on rocky mountain race week and drag week and everything is people Ratchet down, strap down their hood to the roof of their trailer. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to call up my buddies at Team Z, see if I can get just a hood rail kit. So, God forbid, I got to take my hood off. I can Zeus it onto the top of the trailer. So it doesn't go nowhere. 
it's solid and there's no ratchet straps running across it. But it'll probably be raised because I think I want to be able to put storage under it for like the uh, canopy tent. Because one thing a lot of people told me is says, don't forget a canopy tent and don't forget chairs. So I want to get that as well. And I don't know if I'll have enough space inside with everything. We'll see. Because I, Like I said, I got to get those four cans in there. That's 20 gallons. I figured five gallons in the car. And it could be five gallons per track because, you know, if I make three passes per track, that'll probably be around there. I think there's E85 around, but I'd rather not <laughs> deal with it. This came in my big trailer. And it's an oil rack. I'm going to cut it in half, stack it, and it's going to go on the door that I have for that to hold all the oil. Space saving. Well, guys, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the idea for the trailer. If I've missed anything in my list, let me know in the comments. I've been going over that list a whole lot. This is the introduction to my Drag Week trailer, Drag Week extravaganza, whatever you want to call it. This is the start of it, the start of the video series, I should say. And we're going to go from here. I'm going to try to record as much as I can of it and get it edited up. And we'll do that. Like I said, I'm going to try to start building this trailer this coming week. It shouldn't be too hard. There's not crazy angles or bends or anything. It's it's literally just all squares. Oh, it shouldn't take... Shouldn't take that long to build. And um, I think I'm going to get it onto that side. Kick the wife out of the garage for the rest of the summer and get the trailer on that side. Because it's hot and... Oh, it's hot and damp in here. And... Uh, I'd rather be on this side where, oh, sorry, where I finished installing my LED lighting so it's it's nice and bright. She's probably wondering where I'm going to start working on this thing. That thing's not going anywhere. I started hanging some panels on it. I got to get the bumper and the hood and the other fender. And the other fender for it. I want to line up all this. I got like four spot welds left to take off. Take that panel off and get the new one on and make sure it's all lined up. I've never replaced a quarter panel before, so I don't know if I'm doing it the right way, but it, it seems like the right way. It's kind of cool to see it with some panels and actually look like something, <laughs> but we're going to start working on that. Oh, maybe this winter, that'll be this winter's project. It'll keep me away from working on that thing. All right, guys. That's all I got for you this time. Hopefully next video, we're building that trailer and getting that thing rocking and rolling. Time is flying and I got to get going. Have a good night.